Okay guys, now that we have a good understanding of ES6, we can move on to learning some of the features that TypeScript has to offer. So what is TypeScript? As I've already mentioned in the very first video, TypeScript is a typed superset of JavaScript that compiles to plain JavaScript. So we now have data types that can be made use of while writing our code. But specifying the data type is completely optional, so we still can write regular JavaScript code and it would work. So why would we want to learn TypeScript? Now, one of the main difficulties while writing JavaScript is the inability to identify mistakes during development. Sometimes we are not sure if the scope of a variable exists or not while using it, and sometimes we would be assigning a string value to an integer value which was declared with the purpose of having only integer values or we might even call a function with mismatched parameters. Now TypeScript handles all these by providing the features that a text editor can make use of to signal a red flag right away as and when we are writing our code. So TypeScript leads to lesser mistakes which implies better development of code. And also, TypeScript is the official language that Angular 2 makes use of, and that's a pretty, pretty good reason to learn TypeScript as well. And finally, what I would like to point out is that TypeScript is equal to ES5 features plus ES6 plus ES7 plus some of its own features. So by learning ES2015, we have in fact learned a huge portion of TypeScript. So all that is left is to learn some features that TypeScript has taken from ES7 like decorators and some of its own features like the data types. So let's get started from the next video.